Hello, I'm Steve Jerzyk, NASA's Associate Administrator for Space Technology. But what exactly is space technology? Well, at NASA, technology drives exploration. We are developing the vital technologies and capabilities needed to send robots and astronauts to deep space destinations. Although much of our efforts are focused on getting to Mars and beyond, our work also has huge impacts right here on Earth. We're building, testing, and flying the technologies of the future, a future that is full of opportunities for students and researchers like you. When I was a kid, I remember watching the Apollo missions unfold, inching closer to landing a man on the moon. NASA and its astronauts were achieving groundbreaking feats in human spaceflight and reaching new heights previously out of reach. They showed humankind a new way of looking at Earth from outer space. They showed us what was possible with human innovation. My passion for that awe-inspiring work led me here to NASA. There's no better time in our nation's history than now to be a student in a science, technology, engineering, or math field. There are so many exciting opportunities for jobs and research new ideas and industries. Space technology has played a key role in contributing to the nation's high-tech economy. We are spurring innovation and building partnerships across the United States aerospace enterprise. Our portfolio includes a broad range of projects across the technology development spectrum. Our early stage work is nurturing visionary concepts and stimulating breakthroughs in aerospace missions while engaging America's entrepreneurs as partners in the journey. Our technologies further along the development pipeline are undergoing tests and flying demonstration missions. This year, we are testing new capabilities on our small satellites in communications and navigation between swarms of spacecraft. We're also focused on new propulsion, power, and autonomous systems for small sats. We're working on next generation life support technologies that will enable missions to Mars. We're improving spaceflight computers to enable more advanced robotic missions. We're building new materials and large space structures and utilizing additive manufacturing, reducing the cost and complexity of component parts and systems. Also in preparation for our journey to Mars, we are advancing solar electric propulsion. This cost-effective in-space propulsion system harnesses the electric power from onboard solar arrays using 10 times less fuel than conventional chemical propulsion. We're getting ready to launch our Deep Space Atomic Clock, a miniature ultra-precision mercury ion clock which has the potential to change the way we navigate through space. Our clock is smaller, lighter, and tick for tick, more stable than today's best navigation clocks. It drifts one second every 10 million years. And soon we will demonstrate a new green propellant that could replace the extremely hazardous and toxic rocket fuel, hydrazine. This green propellant and its thrusters can provide better performance and safer and more efficient handling and loading. As we make progress in space, we're also advancing technologies with applications for Earth, we are funding a joint project with the U.S. Forest Service to improve the performance of emergency shelters for firefighters, drawing from a spacecraft heat shield technology. This is the kind of high payoff return on investment NASA is proud to give back to America and the world. And it's only possible because we're tapping into the nation's best and brightest minds. Our Space Technology Research Grants Program is another way we engage our nation's universities to address the high priority technical needs of NASA as we move deeper into the solar system. The program is composed of two competitively awarded components, fellowships and grants. NASA Space Technology Fellows perform innovative research at their respective campuses, at NASA centers, or at U.S. research and development laboratories. We traditionally award 50 to 60 fellowships each year. We also offer grants to accredited universities on behalf of outstanding early career faculty researchers and other early stage innovations aligning with NASA's space technology roadmaps. Our Centennial Challenges program directly engages our public citizen scientists and inventors in the process of advanced technology development. We're looking to stimulate private sector investment and increase the diversity of individuals, organizations, and teams that are helping NASA problem solve. We just awarded $50,000 to winners of the Mars Ascent Vehicle Challenge. The first high school team to ever participate in a Centennial Challenge, as well as two university teams, took home prize money for successfully demonstrating an autonomous robotic system that could one day bring back samples from the red planet. We're also gearing up for our sample return robot challenge to encourage innovations in robot navigation and sample collection technologies. We had some big winners last year and we hope to have more this year. We're in the planning stages of hosting many more exciting challenges like the Space Robotics Challenge with humanoid robots and the Europa Icy Moons Challenge to develop technologies that penetrate its thick surface ice layer. 
We are truly excited about these opportunities to work with university students, researchers, and makers from across the country. We're passionate about advancing space technology while helping to bolster our nation's innovation economy. Through our partnerships with industry, universities, international organizations, and other government agencies, we are building the technologies that will enable human and robotic exploration of Mars, our solar system, and beyond. We want to engage and inspire you to become one of the thousands of technologists and innovators working on solving America's toughest aerospace challenges. We know that technology drives exploration, and perhaps with your help, NASA and the nation will remain at the cutting edge of space exploration for a long time to come.